Oh my. Here's another XJ. This one, uh, this one's done for though. Yikes. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Got another XJ over here, but no, 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 this one is not mine. I can't really have this. This is destined for scrap. Uh, it's gotta go, it's gotta go to the crusher. But my buddy, Jimmy, did come by to let me pick some pieces off it. Uh, fortunately, I can't take the motor, I can't take the transmission, I can't take the cats, I can't take the doors, I can't take the hatch. So what really, uh, all I have left to choose from is engine based stuff, but I will take it because, uh, hey, nuts and bolts are great. I always build the engines, I build the Jeeps, and you know, if you lose one little nut, it could throw off your whole project. So we're gonna pick as much stuff as I can and uh, what do we got? I got a half an hour? Clock's ticking? Yeah, yeah he's got to get to the uh, scrapper before they close. So I'm going to start picking. So we'll uh, set the timer and we will go. Go, baby, go. All right, we got ourselves a standard 4 liter in an XJ. This is a 2000. This had the option of having federal emissions, which was 48 state compliant. And then uh, this one in 2000 is California emissions. Got the two uh, cats right under the intake. You can't really see it, but they're there, trust me. They got the O2 sensors to prove it. Um, so when we're stripping an XJ, uh, you take everything you can get by hand first. It seems to be the easiest. So we'll pop all these clips, and I guess I should start the counter now, but uh, I'll do that when I get the tools ready. So get everything you can get by hand. Just gonna go to town. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm under the gun. Oh, well, that's already disconnected. That's easy. Oh, oh I missed all oh, these. That's terrible. Man down. Oh, well. And it's just gonna keep going. No editing here. We're gonna rip through. Hey, this tube is intact. Let's keep this. This actually looks pretty new. Oh, we got a rip right here. Careful of these. This could cause a vacuum leak. Hey, thanks, Jimmy. Back in the game. Good to go. Just gonna start moving along. Oh, drop the clip. There we go. What else can we pick? Easy pickings first. We're going vacuum ball. Look at this. That's a nice vacuum ball mod. Plug it right in at the uh, right at the T. That's for uh, front end collisions. A little hack. See, this front end is a little different. I don't know what kind of bumper this is. But there, I'm just gonna take off the lid. There we go. Um, let's see, we can take the overflow tube. Oh, rats. It's connected right there and there. No worries, I'll snip that later. We got an E fan over here. We'll unconnect that soon. Go ahead and get some nice little toppers here. Let's see, can we get the. Oh, I don't know if I can get it. Oh. You usually need screwdrivers for this. Ah, got it. Oh, I'm so strong. This is an open port. Yeah, that's right. The metered one is back here. Come on. This is not how to do it. Oh, got it. This is just the emergency way. I don't care if it breaks or not. Wow, look at that. I'm having excellent luck up here. Here we go. I can usually get these by hand because I'm strong. <laughs> Oh, not today. Not that strong. We'll come back to it later. We'll pull the dipsticks. There we go. Dipsticks, dipsticks. We're also going to want to pull your relays. And I think I'm, oh, there we go. I think I'm about three minutes in right about now. So we're making great time. And usually I would say haste makes waste. Not today. Haste is making, making money. Cherokee money. Anytime you can save a penny or two picking up free parts it's great because if you need to do a, a flip or a build you won't have to go to the store to buy your parts all right we got a lot of the hand stuff uh caps that's good got a lot of the removal by hand stuff completed oh that was a rusty rusty radiator cut Ooh, i wonder if this engine even turns over but we're not gonna find it today. All right, let me get the uh, tripod going and then I'll start using my tools. All right, here we go. You guys are on my tripod and I got my snips. 
We're gonna snip this off. Usually these are held on by the eight millimeter fasteners in here. They go right into those clip nuts. Oh, here's one, this one's still intact. Let me see, this has got a little zip tie, tie wrap, whatever you wanna call them here. Pinch that off, slide this out. We've got our hose, still leaking a little bit. Um, this fan shroud is actually good. Let me grab an eight millimeter real quick. I got all my tools ready to go, set up on this workbench right over here. Uh, the workbench, it's the bumper and I'm calling it my workbench. Got my adapters ready right here. Come on, baby. Come on. Keep the adapters in the pocket. All right. I think we're like four minutes in. <laughs> There we go, eight millimeter. Oh, I grabbed the nine. Oh, I'm terrible. Sorry, we're gonna edit that part out. Eight millimeter, here we go. There, you know what? I'm gonna keep this because these things, <laughs> they always break. It's gonna, nice, gonna be nice to keep a non-broken one. All right, electric fan is held in by clips at the bottom. So that's on its way out, we're just gonna Pop this little clip right here. The safety part is broken, so I'm yoinking it out with the pliers. Here we go. Disconnected and come on. There we go. E fan in the bucket. Moving along. Fan shroud uh, tab is broken, so I'm leaving it. What else can I get? I'm gonna move over to some 10 millimeter. All right, got my 10 millimeter. We're gonna be in 10 millimeter mode for a while. There's a lot of 10 millimeter stuff on an XJ. Uh, we gotta move to get this battery out real quick. That is in the way. Let me swap over to a 13 millimeter. Come on, come on. 12, 13. To this tie down, they're kind of rare. Battery nuts, sure. I bet this battery comes right off. <laughs> totally, Jimmy. Do I have to keep the battery in it? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. All right, I'll put the battery back. I promise you. And is the, the rad too, if that's okay? And you got the rad, it's all yours, bud. more little bolts holding the radiator to the rad bracket. Rad bracket's off. Oh. All right, now this is movable. We could get to some other engine tidbits. Go ahead and move the shroud out of the way. It's broken, so I'm not taking it. All right, let's dip into the throttle bottle. Throttle bottle? Throttle body area. Can't speak when I'm in a rush. Pop the kick down tube, tube, not tube, it's a cable. Kick down cable out. Basically push and pull action on these clips. Get rid of these out of the way. There we go, out my way. All right, more 10 millimeter, here we go. Nut, come on, in the bucket. O2 sensor bracket, I like these. In the bucket. Put the other one over here. Nut in the bucket. Clip in the bucket. Move this. All right. There we go. Ooh, don't lose it. Throttle bottom. retain these sensors. I'm not even going to unplug it. Man, this hurts my heart to do this, but I'm cutting the wires because, hey, sometimes you might need to, to keep the connectors, you know? So This Cherokee is getting crushed, so as much as it sucks, saving the pigtails. Oh, one more. Let's get this. There we go. 
in the bucket. We're going to get these elbows off. These are notorious for vacuum leaks. So we'll save these vacuum elbows. And pull up as much line as I can. And I want to, uh, take this out too. Vacuum line for the brake booster. I don't like doing this either. But I'm snipping the vacuum lines in the interest of time. And I'm saving all the connectors. Or the elbows rather. Alright. Move this out of the way. Going for the fuel rail now. Uh, the fuel rail is rusty. So I'm not going to take the fuel rail. But the hardware, sure, why not? More of these 10 millimeter phalangeless bolts, bolts, fasteners, what have you. There we go, cut the injector harness right out of the engine harness. Hate doing that too, but hey, the toad needs one of these, so I'll go ahead and carefully extract it later. All right, let me get some of these hoses out of the way. Eight millimeter upper rad hose. Probably get wet right now. Oh yeah, there she goes. Also gonna take off this little fastener right here, slide that out of the way. There we go. Uh, this looks crappy, not gonna take it. You know what? We'll take the cover though. I'm gonna keep these factory clamps. Oh, I got rust water all over my feet. Sorry, Jimmy, I rusted your truck. Let me take this clamp so I don't forget it. All right, can't take the rad, but I'll take the thermostat housing. 13 millimeter. See if I can get to the water pump without taking off the fan. Pump bolt four. Sorry, belt, it was real good. Oh well, get the thermostat out of the way. Why am I making it harder on myself? Thermostat. What do we got? What's she running? 195. Good boy. This is pure water coming out of here. If she blew, I would say that's probably a good reason why. There we go. Got the pulley. Need the water pump bolts. Valve cover. Oops. Ooh. All right, we're doing good on time. Let's see if we can get the coil rail. Should just slide off. Go all the plugs. And we got a clip over here. Safety clip. Push and pull. All right. Got the coil pack ignition system. Oh, and hey, definitely gonna want this. Uh, this cam shaft sensor. Had to swap to a 730 seconds because these are small and weird. Actually can't stand these. Uh, if you're not careful, they could break right off into your, uh, your timing gear. And that definitely sucks. I think I have that issue on the toad. 
I'm gonna do a timing gear video on the toad with spark plugs. I'll make sure our spark is good to go. But yeah, these long, 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 long <laughs> fasteners get stuck. There we go. And this is supposed to have a little safety latch on it. I think, maybe not, no. Anyway, there we go. Camshaft positioning sensor. You definitely want this in stock. They tend to go. I missed, didn't I? Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> and the timing gear is held on by the same plate and 13 millimeter bolt that the distributor is held on with in the earlier years. 19 mil and plate. And this just will rotate on out. There we go. Always remember to replace the gasket whenever you reinstall one of these. Gonna grab the PCM for my buddy Mark. What up, Mark? You want some boards and fobs reprogrammed? Go see Mark Timberlake. Mark is the reason why I always have fobs for my XJs. I'm gonna push and pull on both the bottom and top clips. Slide these straight out. Don't want to bend the pins of your PCM. You also don't want to whack it on your fender. <laughs> there we go. Save your hood shims too. Oh! Always good to have spare hood latchy thingies. Triangle thing for you, Maddie. All right, just gonna grab some stuff from the inside. Why not? Before we send it away. Oh, we got a busted Henner panel. But we still got light lenses on it, so that's a that's a good pick right there. We'll get the lenses later. Ooh, drop that down there. Hey, we got the other lens. Score. Oh look. Ba -ba -ba. This one does not have the Torx. It's 2000. It's too old. Spare cover. Don't want that. Oh, we got some transmission stuff in here. Uh, center console's out. Let's see, I wonder if we can get this dashboard. Everything inside is Phillips, just about. I gotta get the headlight switch out of there. And it helps if you move it down oh, the tilt. Sorry for the shaking camera. Oh, and you gotta pull that little plastic rubber. I don't know how to call it. That collar? It's like a collar. You gotta get that pull. AC controls, right? I mean, they're already unplugged. Might as well take them. One hand, Dan. Just kind of yoink that out. Grab this gauge cluster too. Why not? Once again, this is by no means a how to video. This is straight up last minute desperation. I'm getting all these plugs from behind. Can't see them. I'm just reaching. Oh. Go. Ta -da. I'm not gonna throw that. I don't know if you can see this, but the headliner is straight up carpet. <laughs> That's funny. I just want to get this uh, dome light down. I'll probably send this chip up to Mark Timberlake along with the PCM. Because he is my buddy. He is my pal. There we 
to go. Now, obviously, if this bad boy had cruise control, I'd take the steering wheel with the cruise control buttons, and I'd take the headlight switch, well, the fog light switch, I'd take that too, but I'm going to pass on this. This airbag is actually nice, but uh, sorry. No time. I'm over my limit. We'll get this door panel, actually. Last Hail Mary maneuver. Door panels. These screws are, uh, whoop, they were important. <laughs> now they're gone. Sorry. Oh, got myself. I need this. Thank you. Woohoo! Yeah. Alright, guys, looks like we're done with this. Let's check out what we were able to score in about a half hour's time, a little more. But look, I got a whole tub full of stuff we got ourselves the dome light with the chip in it for mark we got a uh, gauge cluster valve cover radiator support driver's side oh, driver's side and passenger side door panels we got a grill we got a hood and a trim piece and the controls so not a bad score uh, all we used was this little set of tools and we totally feasted on this XJ like a mantis. You should see him feast, he's like a mantis. All right guys, that is a wrap for this XJ deconstruction video. I think about 35, 40 minutes, a little 40, over budget. Yeah, gotta, gotta get him to the yard before it closes. He's gonna crush that sucker. But yeah, I appreciate you coming down. No Let me score some parts. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Tell me what you would salvage in an emergency situation. If you had to grab parts off, did I do a good job? What else would you take? Let me know what I missed. Uh, I would love to get the headliner down, drag it out the back, but uh, I can't open the lift gate because it's filled with crap and it's locked and it would spill all over. It's scrap. But, yeah, it's going bye-bye. Going, going it's getting scrapped. So. All right, man, that's it. Guys, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next project. Big thanks to Jimmy, and peace. Jimmy came back, we got a twofer, <laughs> oh yeah, save the front high pinion Dana 30 and the body of the towed parts car is on its way. There goes XJ number two, two XJ scrap in one day, sad. Thank you.